Hello, hello, more Dimmers here and welcome back to the chess played by Super Engines. And last time I show you the, the game from CCC Season 14, the tournament organized by chess.com platform and uh, I show you the game between Stuflis and Stockfish and a new E, the, the new supercomputer, old Stockfish with the neural network engine learning from own mistakes. If you haven't seen that game, uh, I think, you know, Stockfish and a new E was the, the reincarnation of Paul Morphy. Beautiful attacking style and uh, a lot of pins like in the opera game uh, of Paul Morphy. So this was just, you know, insane. If you haven't seen that game, check over there. Very beautiful. I, I really recommend that. And this time I show you the game from the same season and the same opponents. But this time Stockfish and NUE gonna play as white and Stofflis as black. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. I don't know um, how many moves were pre-moved because something is wrong with the website. However, I have the access to the notation, so um, there is no problem in that. And this is quite interesting game as well. We have e4, c5, so that's gonna be Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight d4, knight f6, knight c3, and now g6. So Sicilian dragon, this is the dragon. Uh, if you don't know, that's the shape of dragon. We have bishop e3, bishop g7, f3, um, and now castle and here queen d2 so yugoslav attack one of the most uh, sharpest lines i'm not sure as i said i'm not sure um, how many moves were pre-moved however um the the lines uh, continue so knight c6 bishop c4 uh, moving the bishop on this beautiful diagonal bishop d7 and now castle by white so uh it's pretty standard that white gonna attack on the on the king side so that's gonna be very very sharp and black gonna attack on the queen side uh we have rook c8 and now bishop b3 this move usually uh allows white to still stay on this diagonal uh while not under attack by the by the knight to e5 which is the main line and as many of of my subscribers actually enjoy is that so i'm gonna show you the main line um thank you for all the comments and suggestion uh, so the main line here is knight e5 and after king b1 rook e8 uh, h4 and after h5 uh, bishop h6 uh, knight c4 now attacking the queen uh, which is pretty unpleasant but bishop c4 this is still main line rook c4 and after exchanging uh, all of that white still can attack here black can um, attack also on the queen side and so on so this is well known however as i said i don't know um, how deep into the into the lines where you know pre pre-move this time uh, however we have knight d4 which is the sideline uh, bishop d4 and now b5 a3 just preventing b4 uh, and now this is interesting because in the database we don't have any moves uh, a5 is the main move here, okay? Uh, king b1 and after b4 exchanging knight a2 and the game can continue and uh, and we have a couple of games here. However, here Stuflis play b4 uh, and it, it's like uh, the novelty. However, after a takes on b4, so that was the pawn sacrifice. Now black gonna have the open files and access to the king much easier than before. Uh, a5. Uh, and now b5, of course, um, the Stockfish and NUE don't want to open the a file so easily uh, because after taking the queen could take and, you know, operate on the, on the a file. So uh, th that's not really comfortable. But now after a4, uh, this configuration after, you know, some transposition was played by human players on the top level. So we know that already. Uh, and the human players played knight a4. Uh, knight a4, so giving up this pawn, bishop uh, to b5, and after knight b6, the rook is under attack, and queen a5 was played with the attack on the bishop. Bishop c6, king b1, and the game continues. However, it's very interesting. Black won that game, uh, and white had 200 more points in the ranking. 
So uh, White was much stronger player and Black managed to win. However, Stockfish didn't want to go for the human line uh, and play Bishop E2. He didn't want also to take the pawn on A4 for free. Uh, and it looks like, you know, pretty good idea to, to push the, the pawn on B3, bring the king, bring the rooks and, you know, play on the A file. That, that looks like pretty good. However, Queen A5 and we have first threat taking the, the knight and and then the bishop soon after. So b3 followed the plan and now e5 actually wins the piece because the bishop has to move and um, this knight doesn't have any um, any support. So uh, not this way. However, uh, what white could play is actually bishop b3. Uh, and after, let's say, queen a1, um, knight b1, bishop b5, and the game can continue. It looks pretty uncomfortable here. Here. However, the position is pretty solid and definitely playable. With these two bishops, maybe white even can start to attack on the king side. Uh, very interesting line. Uh, but as I said, uh, Stockfish and NUE want to get initiative as much as possible. So bishop a2 first. And after a3, this is already the third sacrifice. The third sacrifice. Take that pawn or don't take that pawn. Uh, Stockfish again didn't take the pawn. What would happen if the pawn is taken? Troubles again. Queen a5 again and after king b2, uh, rook a8. Now the pawn is under attack, so um, it should be pushed a4. And then the problem is bishop takes on b4. Bang! And this is just, you know, uh, peace sacrifice, but completely opening, you know, exposing the king uh, to the attack. Uh, so, for example, knight b5 isn't that great. Queen a4 uh, and, you know, the bishop is still under attack. So, knight c3. Uh, also, the, the knight was under attack. So, knight c3. And after queen a3, king a1, e5. Eliminating one of the defenders of the knight, which uh, can be very handy. Bishop f8. And now, rook f to c8. Attacking the defender of the a2 uh, bishop. Because now, there is a checkmate on a2. That is a pretty serious threat. So uh, white cannot move the, the knight, have to bring another defender. So rook b1 and after rook c3, that's the free piece. Uh, rook b2, the game can continue. However, uh, black has a really nice advantage and comfortable game here. So uh, not really the best idea to take with the knight. Also uh, taking with the pawn isn't that great because of queen b4. And after king a1, we're going to have very similar position uh, because rook f to c3 uh, and now you could ask okay i can i can kick the the queen actually you cannot because rook a2 actually uh, wins the game if the king takes there is the checkmate uh, and if the knight takes then the queen is hanging so that's not even possible uh but b6 would be very, very sneaky from the white perspective. And if now black play e5, kicking the defender of the of the knight, then b7, deflection move, uh, queen b7 is forced, and only now rook to b1. And it's very, very interesting because after queen a6, white actually can deliver some perpetual attack on the queen. Look at this, uh, rook b6 and after let's say queen a5, a rook also can go to b5. All of this square are actually uh, covered by, by white pieces. So, so let's say queen a3, then rook just follows um, and so on. So if black want to actually uh, win that game, then who would have to go to, to a7. Uh, there are no discoveries here because the bishop is under attack. But after bishop f2, there are. Uh, but now actually black can remove the defender um, of the a2 and white has to uh, retreat to a2. And they continue the game. Queen c7 probably. And it's very similar position. I just show you before black just stands better. Uh, so that's not what stops. Stockfish and NUE want to play. Uh, instead, we have rook h to e1. So why to take the pawn if, you know, uh, the pawns are not important, but, you know, control on these files is more important. That's the center. Uh, we have a takes on b2, we have king takes on b2, and now rook b8. And now I have the question to you, which king is safer? 
How would you estimate the safety of the king? That's one of the most important factors in the game. So look at this. Uh, is this the safe king? Is this how the safe king uh, look like? Or maybe this is the safe king. How do you think? Because uh, clearly Stockfish and NUE has a different opinion than human. Uh, Stockfish say, okay, my king is very safe. Your king is not. E5, what are you gonna do now? There are two options for black. Actually, black can take the pawn uh, or move the knight to e8. There are no more options. So uh, if d takes on e5, then actually rook e5 and then knight e8 is coming anyway. Uh, and then the, the rook, for example, can go to d5 and uh, knight d6, bishop g7, king g7, queen d4. And this is, of course, better for white. However, very interesting that uh, Stufless played knight e8 first and after e takes on d6 knight d6 bishop g7 king g7 queen d4 with check so the only difference in the in these variations the rook is on e1 not on d5 what probably would be slightly better for black because um, the rook, yes, it defends the, the b5 pawn. Uh, however, it's also quite shaky here. Bishop, for example, can attack, skewer, take the bishop on a2 and so on. So uh, it's very difficult to say. However, uh, the position are almost uh, the same. We have king g8 and now bishop b3. And now asking, okay, which position is, is, is better now? The king doesn't have the knight on f6, doesn't have the dark square bishop. The queen is penetrating, looking in this diagonal. Um, and also this bishop and this pawn and this knight, this, these are pretty nice, decent defenders. Uh, we have bishop b5 now, this, this pawn doesn't really matter. And now knight d5. And this is where the magic starts, because look at this. These knights threaten to take on e7. Uh, and now with the queen controlling, the black would be forced actually to take on, on e7, sacrifice the queen. That, that, of course, would be losing. So now how to defend the pawn? Um, if the rooks go to b7, for example, then everything is pretty forced. White simply gonna win the pawn. So knight e7, rook e7. And after rook e7, queen e7, queen takes on d6, and uh, and this is actually better for white. One extra pawn, but it's not definitely, you know, enough to win the game. Uh, also, knight f5, it looks even better because it attacks the queen, it defends e7, but it's still knight e7 comes with check and the attack on the knight. So knight e7. Queen d8, eliminating the defender of the of the e7. So rook f to d8. And now don't take this because your rook is also hanging. But first exchange the rooks and only now take the knight. So white again has one extra pawn, but this time without the queens. So it should be much easier actually to win that. Uh, however, we have rook e8 by Stufless, uh, and this is pretty interesting because now we have rook e7, rook e7, and of course um, the knight can take the, the rook, and we're gonna have the same continuation like I just show you with the extra pawn. However, uh, Stockfish and NUE actually decide to, to go for, you know, the rook, whole rook sacrifice. Temporary, however, it's still the sacrifice. Knight f6 with check. Uh, King f8, of course, it's forced. Otherwise, there are going to be some discoveries here. Uh, knight h7 winning yet another pawn. King g8. Uh, and now knight f6 uh, checking again. King f8. And now knight d5. So what is going on? The rook is under attack. That is the first thing. So uh, what white can do now, take the rook, then take the knight and play with two extra pawns. But also there is another threat. Checkmate in one. What black can do? Uh, if try to run king e8, let's say, uh, then the king can run this way. Then actually knight e7. Uh, and of course, black can just, just take it and, and play with these two 
two pawns down or play something tricky like knight c4 and knight c4 it's pretty tricky because if the knight is taken now uh then black actually gonna you know come to the game with check the, the rook gonna come to the game uh, so king c1 would have to be played pretty tricky one and after queen e7 only now bishop c4 uh, and there are some tricks actually but they doesn't work queen a3 with check and then after king d2 uh, rook to d8 however they don't work because after bishop b5 with check uh, king e7 uh, rook e1 and now the king has to go somewhere and that's gonna be game over so running with the king doesn't really work uh, this is why we have f6 the best move in the position uh, blocking actually this diagonal uh, making some space for the king and also making a space for the knight which in this case is even more important because uh, white of course takes the pawn for free uh, now we have knight f7 as planned and now knight f4 Four with the discover attack on the queen and this is very tricky one because black actually cannot take the free rook because that's gonna be a checkmate now if the king go to e8 that's gonna be a checkmate uh, and can you find the, the checkmate now I think you can bank this is also the checkmate because this bishop does a really great job here so uh, it's not even possible to move the queen the only defensive move for black is bishop d7 this was played and now it's again very tricky what would you play in this position what would you play most of the human probably would go for knight g6 with the check with the attack on the rook why not uh the point is after king e8 how you continue knight e7 queen e7 this is one of the options and now a black has to play with the knight against you know four pawns so th that's one of the ways however more promising would be queen g7 and checkmate on f8 is a serious threat and how would you prevent that you know checkmate there is only one defensive way actually here so feel free to pause the video and find the defensive continuation for black while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so there is only one way to draw that uh, and it's rook b3 uh, and and for white now the only way is king c1 or take the rook it's completely anti-intuitive however this is the only way to draw and i will show you the the variation with the with the pawn as well uh, but here we have bishop e6 with check king b2 and now rook b7 king c1 rook b1 uh, and now the queen can go to d1 uh, king b2 and now queen to d6 uh, protecting f8 pretty crazy stuff and as i said c takes on b3 this actually is losing why it's losing because look at this rook e2 with check and now the queen is just waiting to join the game to join the party and that checkmate is inevitable so uh king b1 let's say but then bishop f5 with check as well with the attack on the rook uh and after king c1 this is actually a checkmate there is only one legal move and this is actually a checkmate so as you see the position is very very tricky uh, and stockfish nnue played rook d2 silent move but it actually prevents any rook e2 ideas okay so there are not gonna be the checks here uh, and of course this is inevitable uh, checkmate so rook takes on b3 is the only way to continue and after c takes on b3 actually the king has the shelter a little shelter but it's still the shelter uh rook e8 this is the only way actually to to defend that otherwise that's gonna be a checkmate so rook e8 asking to exchange the queens and stockfish said okay let's exchange the queens but let me first take one more pawn knight g6 uh, we have king g8 and only now exchanging the queens rook d8 and now rook d4 so what just happened uh, we have the bishop against four pawns 
So it could happen before, you know, by simplifying. However, uh, we couldn't see this beautiful rook to d to move. Uh, and this is how, you know, Stockfish NNUE played. Uh, king g7 attacking the, the knight, knight f4, king f6 and now knight d3 controlling uh, e5 so the king cannot approach and now uh, what to play as black it's very difficult to actually uh, prevent exchanging the rooks it's, it's almost impossible because after king e7 trying to defend the, the bishop and now maybe the rook could go somewhere actually knight c5 and that would force exchange even more pieces so bishop b5 and uh, and okay this is just exchange so this is why uh, stuflis actually played uh, bishop to b5 uh, and now we have rook d8 knight d8 king c3 uh, and knight e6 g3 so pushing the pawns okay what are the ideas here for white uh bring the king uh, to, to the king side and then support the pawns and march with the pawns and this pawn it's still you know black still have to look at this pawn because this pawn also uh, you know can be pushed in the right moment for now we have bishop e6 we have b4 so the pawn is pushed and now knight g7 f4 so this side is also pushed and now knight f5 knight c5 attacking the bishop bishop b5 knight b3 and now bishop d7 knight d2 very nice maneuver look at this bishop b5 and now knight f3 bishop a6 all the idea to put the the knight here and the bishop here is actually controlling all the squares so the king cannot get through so this is a pretty nice idea however now we have knight d4 and now it controls b5 so the pawn can be pushed that's the one thing and also controls f5 so uh, what can happen on the king side these pawns can be pushed uh, and then after this pawn is pushed uh, it can have the support of the of the knight so that is the idea exchanging the knights would be very bad idea that would be very easy win for white as black actually cannot control you know three pawns and then another pawn on the on the queen side so we have knight d6 and now king d2 so heading to the to the king side uh, bishop f1 and now king e3 as planned knight c4 with check king f3 knight d2 uh, with check and now king g4 so the king reached the, the the positions needed and now can support the pawns uh, but black want to eliminate this pawn first so we have knight c4 uh, h4 pushing even more pawns knight b6 and now king f3 making a space for the pawns and now knight d5 attacking finally attacking the pawn uh, forcing it to move so b5 and now knight c3 still attacking b6 and now bishop a6 so black gonna win that pawn however it did great job and now white can actually progress on the king side g4 knight a4 as planned and now g5 with check king g6 king g4 and now knight b6 and these pieces are actually on the queen side while white progress on the king side h5 with check king f7 and now f5 uh, and now as the knight has the shorter legs than the bishop knight d5 uh, g6 with check king f6 and now h6 the plan is simple just you know make the queening bishop c8 putting the pressure on f5 and now king h4 stockfish and nue uh, calculate very very precisely and asking okay if you take my my pawn then actually i'm gonna take your bishop uh, and then my pawn gonna promote so bishop d7 and now h7 as planned king g7 is forced king g5 and now bishop c8 and now what to play as white how to continue this knight is perfectly placed so whenever uh, white would try to even push the pawn the knight can actually um, take the, the pawn for free and uh, white can do much about that there is actually one move only one move only to win that game so i would like you to pause the video right now and find the winning continuation for white while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready so 
the idea here is to deflect the knight. Actually, there could be two ideas. One uh, would be the knight goes to h5 with check. Uh, and of course, then the, the pawn can be pushed. That's the one idea. And another would be somehow deflect the knight. Uh, the problem is you have to deflect it the, this way only. Because this way it doesn't work because now bishop f5 draws the game. This time is a pretty good move. King f5 and after knight e7 uh, black gonna win also this pawn and then this pawn and, and draw the game. So the only way is actually knight c6. So congratulations if you found it because it was quite a challenge. Um, the point is bishop f5 doesn't work anymore because this knight controls e7. So there are no checks with the attack on the pawn. So uh, white is completely winning here. This is why we have bishop d7 kicking the, the knight and now sacrifice knight e7. Finally, this is very nice deflection and sacrificing once. So knight e7 and now finally f6. Um, we have king h8 and here is another trick, another very important moment. How would you play now as white? Because again, there is only one way to win that. All other moves just draw. So for example, uh, f takes on e7 is just a draw. The problem is king g7. Uh, and the bishop controls e8 and the king controls h8 and there is no way to, to solve that. So king h5 uh, and after bishop e5, king g5 uh, and that's gonna be, you know, threefold repetition and draw. Uh, if black actually tries to, to, I don't know, be greedy, they don't need to, but if tries to be greedy, this is losing for black because, you know, bank, <laughs> however, king h8 and now, of course, this is a checkmate. So that's not, not that's not possible. And also if white tries to win um, this way, maybe bring the bring the king. It doesn't work because after um, bishop d7, uh, king f4, bishop e8, king e5, um, then actually bishop g6 wins now because the bishop still controls e8 uh, the king still controls h8. So there is no way uh, king d6 and now king h7 and this bishop always controls um, the promotion square. So that's going to be a draw. Uh, the only way to win in this position is actually f7 uh, and now if king g7 then first promotion uh, and then another promotion wins the game okay um, knight g8 queen f7 and checkmate is coming so there is only one way of of continuing that but that's gonna be uh, a win but Stoffles didn't go for the king g7 but rather a knight g6 sacrifice the the knight the knight of course controls f8 however after king g6 there is no way to stop the pawn from promotion and that's gonna be a checkmate so bishop c8 was played and after uh, promoting to the queen, this is actually checkmate. So another beautiful game by Stockfish and NUE. Um, they played a lot of games and Stockfish and NUE actually won most of them. So uh, CCC season 14, if you haven't seen that, uh, you can go to chess.com platform and check other games. There are a lot. But as I said, there are the problems with the older games. So uh, I don't know, it's the, it's the website uh, problem or, or something. However, with the actual... Um, tournaments actual seasons um, and the tournaments you can check the, the older games but the the very old game you know are somehow are blocked so I, I I'm not sure what what just happened um, and yeah that's all for today if you like this video press like if you don't like for some reason press unlike and if you don't want to miss another games press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one